You are right, everyone, it's Ace here from Roaming the Custom Catapults. So a uh, little bit of an unusual build to show you all here. Uh, firstly, <clears throat> I'll go on about the, oh, what else should I, what, where should we start, where should we start? Let's go for the colour scheme. Now, I knew it would be a nice colour scheme when I started it, I kind of thought of it. It came up, to, I never planned it, it wasn't pre-planned, I just kind of had a look what I went, got, put a few things together and I came up with this. Uh, and I think it's worked out stunningly beautiful. The colours go so well. We've got this sand beige G10 on the back, 6mm. Then we've got natural G10 in the middle, sandwiched between very thin copper. Ultra thin copper. Let's get right up close so you can see it. And then on the face, we have forest green G10. And then I've done the racing stripes using the same material that's in the centre. If you look at the joins, uh, precision, perfect, could not be happier. We've gone with hollow copper pins and a carbon fibre lanyard pin lined with copper. This G10, uh, it's got a weathered look about it. Now, when you can see those bits of whiting coming through, that is... Uh, I would say most probably the white fiberglass sheet, which I'm guessing when they make G10, they dye the sheet and then it's laminated up using resin and, and pressure and pressing and whichever way they do it. But the fiberglass sheet, I would say, is originally white fiberglass, really thin cloth, ultra thin. And with this, it's just coming through a little bit. I mean, some people will like that, some people won't. I think it gives a weathered look about the build. On this build, I like it, on others, maybe not, but it works well for this 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 color scheme has got like a real kind of heritage kind of look to it classic I, I love it i'll be honest with you i absolutely love it i think it's really classic this heritage style uh yeah i think it just ties in so so well uh finish i took it up to 1200 i didn't go mad i didn't go for some big mirror finish on the pins the pins will dull off within a week anyway uh with hollow pins you can't really see a mirror finish anyway and this is so thin you're not going to get it much shinier than that so i'm happy with it now the build itself was originally based on a micro raptor ott with an extended 10 mil handle which i've got uh templates for that but the buyer requested it basically shoots with a quite a straight wrist so we had to dip the cup in or maybe lengthen the tips or do something. I mean, the easy way to do that is just had a shitload of material to the tips. I could add 10 mil length to the tips. Hey, presto, there you have it. But in doing that, then I'm making the frame extremely ugly, unbalanced, and that's not for me. So what I actually did is rather than just... Uh, we've got a 10 mil extension anyway, but then what I did is I... Brought this whole area here lower. The whole grip area is lower. A lot lower than normal. Which means then I could then deepen the cup in. It's hard to explain. But like I say. I didn't just put an extension on the handle. On top of the 10mm that's already there. I lowered the whole grip down. So that allowed me to dip in the cup more. And what I've done. You don't. Normally with a Raptor you hold up high. There's not much room on a micro. You hold up high. And I design my frames for a high grip. This. You let your hand settle back down on here. So, you, you, how can I explain it there? Your hand comes down, so you've got all the space here. Obviously, that, face will, that space will get filled in more with a bigger hand. But you let your hand slide right down. And then you put your thumb on here. And it kind of, you're pushing against the back of your fingers. So, it locks in really nice. In doing that, you're dropping your hand down on the frame. Which, obviously, makes the tips higher. Then we've gone for a massive slant. And I've, I've aimed with it, and this does... It's not completely straight wrist shooting, but that or you'd have to add so much material to do that. Uh, it, it just wouldn't be for me, but it, it's virtually straight wrist shooting with this. It comes up really, really close. It's really nice. It's perfect. I mean, I could have probably got away with adding 3 mil to the tips. 5 mil would be too much. Uh, I could have probably added an extra 3 mil to the tips. Therefore, allowing me to give an even more prominent slant. So you'd be able to push the fork, your wrist a little bit further forward and it would still say the same as what it is here. So yeah, I could have probably put three mil on the tips, but I didn't. I think this is sufficient. I think with the way I've designed the handle and your fingers to kind of slide down the bottom of the handle and rest in right in there, 
and then you're pushing upwards on there rather than being right up here, you're down here. It just adds that little bit more, like, I'm pretty much straight wristed there, look. That's close to your hand, you can dip it in, man. I mean, as for wrap and tuck, he said to me, I don't care whether it's wrap and tuck or clips. There's no reason that I went with clips on that build any other than I just fancy, uh, with wrap and tuck, any other reason than I just fancy doing wrap and tuck. Obviously, majority of my builds, 9 out of 10, are clip builds. And with him not really being bothered either way, I thought I'd do something a little bit different. And it just works well with that frame. I mean, it'd be nice to know what you all think. Let me know. But I think that colour scheme is really, really nice. I'll give a little bit of a close-up for you on every little part of it. I mean, the only thing I, will, I would go against is this pin is a tiny bit higher than that one, half a mil. Other than that, this build is very nice. It's just tied in really good. Just just really happy with it. Yeah, really, really happy with that build. Bit of a bastard, you could say. Bastard or a hybrid, whichever you think. But I'll be interested to see how the guy gets on with it. I mean, he maybe well, he might not get on with it. It might not it might not work for him. I don't know. I feel it will, but uh, it'd be nice to get the feedback off of him and see what he says. Anyway, everyone, I'm off to finish off my pork chops and chips. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Hope you like that catapult. Uh, like I say, I, I, I'm happy to take your opinions on it, whether you like it or you don't. I'm happy to take opinions on the idea of how your hand slides down the handle. Just let me know what you think. Cheers all and thanks for watching.